feel good to be back. Is it really? Yeah. Um, how are things? Di- I was just asking Joe. How are things different from you now compared to a year ago when you first got here? Um, I'm setting the tone this time instead of like CB or J Will like showing us the way. Now it's like me, Joe, Cam, like for turns showing these younger guys the way. And are you ready for that? Yeah. You mentioned younger guys, but they're a year behind you. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you already feel that way because of the experience from last year? I mean, we did everything we could, you can for college basketball, so like we've seen it all. I mean, we didn't do as much as the other guys, but like we watched them and like mm-hmm. learned off them. So, and the, the young guys didn't get to do that, so we got to teach them what we learned. What were your biggest takeaways for you from last season, that whole run and everything about it? Just approaching every day with a good mi- mindset, because um, if you don't, then it's gonna be a rough day. Mm-hmm. If you're just hoping for the worst, it's going to be bad. But if you're like, you want to go get it done, it's going to be good. Um, you've only had a couple days with Grady coming up here to Lawrence, but what have been some of the biggest growths you've seen in his game from when you left him in high school to where he's at now? Um, I think he's attacking a lot more because when I was playing with him, he was really just like a shooter. And so I think he's getting to the rim a lot better, which is good because he's a you know, taller guy. So It's one you know much about the other freshmen that are coming in and, and kind of their respective games? Yeah, I think I know pretty much. Like, as a hooper, you just can just, like, tell what people can do, what can't, they can't. So it's just like, yeah. <laughs> so give us a breakdown. What, what, what can these guys do? Grady, shooter, starting drive, earnest, big, finish around the rim. Um, Zuby hasn't got here. Um, um, McKeeler hasn't got here. Wilder, shooter, just, I mean, we haven't really seen some of the other guys. Yeah. Like a lot of guys before you've come and this freshman and then maybe get to play a lot and then the second year made that jump. Are, are you ready to get going? Yeah, for sure. I mean, last year was a hard, it wasn't a hard year for me, but it was just like a up and down just with everything I went through and stuff like that. So and I think there's been some videos of you and Cam already working out. Are you, have you been, have you stopped at all since the title game? Have you taken a break or have you? Oh, uh, I took uh, maybe like a week. That's about it. Not too long. What are some of the biggest things you've been trying to work on in the offseason? Hon- honestly, everything. Because I mean, for the whole day so we didn't get to see you a ton like necessarily being in the post like you said you have other guys playing at that position throughout the season you see a lot shooting threes and stuff but how would you define kind of your post game on the block um i think it's good i just i think i'm getting used to the speed and size of it so it's a lot easier have you worked on trying to get stronger bulk up any of that kind of stuff what do you what's the process and what's the workouts like well just eat everything and lift it's tough but that's just how it goes (laughs) How many calories a day? A lot. I don't <laughs> count, but it's a lot. <laughs> Too much. What are you up to now? 225. Trying to get to 235. What were you last year? 218. Something like that. You seem to have the confidence and, and the readiness. Is that is that important? I mean, is that does that make maybe it a little bit easier taking on a new role? Um, I don't know. I just I've always been confident in myself because I mean, why not? Like, why not be your biggest fan? So like. I, I just feel like it's a, like mindset. I just feel, go back to that. Like, if I have a bad mindset, we have a good one. Do you think it's fair to say Grady's a goofy guy? Oh, I'm right there with him, though. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> is that, are there any quotes that stand out of Grady here? Just that kind of teammate? Yeah. I mean, I've known him a lot, so like, I've definitely seen a lot more with my KJ and my Tim because he was my roommate senior year. He was named, I think, the Gatorade High School Player of the Year. And one of the top like shooters in yeah. high school basketball. When you when you add a guy like that to the roster, what can it do to the other guys that can, that when a guy like that can shoot it as well as he can and drive and do all those things? It makes it tough. It's just it's just depth to your team. Just having someone like that on your roster just makes it hard. What do you what do you think your role is going to be next year? Um. Well, I don't know because we have to figure out how everyone gets used to each other and how we play together. So I mean, depending on that. We'll find out real soon. Well, what's your goal then? What would you like to be able to accomplish? Anything I can do to win. I don't, whatever it has to do. So, sure. Whatever. Is that kind of a weird balance in the center room? Like, obviously, with Dave graduating, you know, there's a starting spot up for grabs at the yeah. center, but you guys are all teammates and all friends and everything. No, I just think it's like, I mean, we all come here to play basketball, so it's like, it's just competitive. It's fun. Where did you spend break the last few weeks? Lawrence. Oh, why? Oh, I was working out here the whole time. Oh. I think I went home for like a week. Do you have a favorite memory uh, with Grady from Sunrise? Can't too many of those. 
he's a goof. He's a good guy, though. Can that, can that carefree attitude, kind of the, what you're describing, can that help you guys on the court? Yeah, I think not being nervous and like just going with the flow is something that everyone needs because everyone's usually uptight. Mm -hmm. and it's just, then you start playing a little off and stuff and just, just be yourself, you know? You said you guys were roommates, but he's a guy too like you that committed early. I don't think you took really any visits and, yeah. and he decided early too. Did you know? Um, early on, that, I mean, is is he passionate about this place? I know yeah, he's got some sure. siblings. I think he's too. he's from here, so it's like, and if you go to his room back home, you got you know KG stuff on the walls yeah. and stuff. So I mean, yeah, he's definitely a fan of this place. What do you think of Joseph's game? How would you describe it? Oh, Joe's great, fast, athletic, smart. So I mean, he's gonna be fun to watch this year. A big score compared to maybe what he did last year. Yeah, well, we were like in the same boat because we had he had Brandon and stuff, so it was different last year because we had a bunch of big dogs in the team. Joe had talked a little bit about kind of being in a funk in some ways because of just not having those many, just the minutes he wanted, the ability to yeah. score, do his thing. You missed that stretch with the toe. Um, how much did you try to fight through some of that stuff too, and how much can you relate maybe in a different way what he went through? Um, well, I tried to fight through some of it, but then I went, like, it just hit me. I was like, nah, it's not worth it. Like, I'm going to let them do their thing. I'm going to just get better, get ready for whatever I can play next. So. When did that hit you? Like two days after. <laughs> it was hurting pretty bad. <laughs> All right, Zach. Thank you. Thanks, Zach. Thanks.